Hey everybody, welcome again to my Homage Watch Collection channel and in this video I will review this Steel Dive SD1952. Okay, so this is uh, a model SD1952 that it's a clear homage to the Blancpain 50 Phaetons. Uh, the first generation or second generation of 50 Phaetons. Uh, I, I choose to have the neutral or sterile dial uh, style. Uh, this watch was also available with the Steel Dive logo, which is great. I think the, the, the Steel Dive is a pretty nice logo, pretty creative logo, but it somehow didn't fit well uh, this model in my opinion, so I choose to have the, the sterile one uh, the case back is also sterile um, but this uh, I, I got this watch mainly because I like the way it looks it have a very vintage style of diving watches a very toolish design, a very brute design very spartan design if you will and one nice thing about this watch is that it's a uh, 300 meter resistant, so it's a uh, it's a it's a real diving watch. Of course, the other brands that make uh, diving watches uh, resistant to to 200 meters, they are also uh, professional. It can be used professionally for diving, uh, although I understand that nobody, no professional diver. Uh, we'll use a mechanical watch for diving anyway, not even as a backup. Uh, it's uh, they are <laughs> these watches are made for for desk divers. Uh, but anyway, it's nice to see that this watch is resistant to 300 meters. You may think that it's it's just a little bit more than 200, but it's not exactly like that because the pressure that a watch uh, is submitted underwater. It doesn't it doesn't increase uh, linearly, so 300 meters require um, a case that is substantially more robust or more rigid than a watch that is supposed to resist to 200, and so on. That's why if you get a watch that is resistant to let's say 600 or more than 1,000, they need to have really really thick crystals and case backs uh i i opened this watch once and the, the the crystal and the case back is really thick um quite more than a watch resistant to 200 meters um but anyway i mainly i got this watch because um, it looks so nice i actually had other two examples of this model one that uh, imitates the the classic mill spec uh, 50 phaetons and also another one in bronze uh, but actually the one I like the most is this one as you might expect it have a sapphire crystal with uh, anti-reflective coating and pretty much like uh, like I said on an, on other models with anti-reflective I kind of don't like much this way too bluish uh, appearance of this anti-reflective I prefer if it was more discreet actually it doesn't look doesn't look too good under strong lightning uh, but it kind of does the job okay not exactly complaining but I really think that it could be better in basically all the Chinese brands. The bezel insert is ceramic and it's full loom uh, over the bezel. It's equipped with the NH35 movement, which is, um, it, again, it does the job for this kind of watch. The price of this watch, I think that uh, it could be slightly less. Um, I'm not 100 sure that the the prices justify because for example you can compare it with the with the other steel dive that are seiko homages and they are not they, they have more complex design and not so expensive 
um, so I don't know exactly why this model have to be uh, a bit more expensive than the average steel dive uh, but anyway I think it's pretty fair uh, the original strap that comes with this watch is exactly like this one but it's not this one it, ha it have the same design but this one is a genuine isoprene uh, and I use this one just because I happen uh, to, to have this uh, in my collection. I, I wouldn't buy a isoprene today because I think it's if it's an expensive uh, strap. And the Chinese ones are as good as the, the original one. So it, 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 I don't think that the, the price for the original isoprene today is justifiable. But, but I have this one for more than 10 years. Back then, they weren't as expensive and the exchange rate for my country was more favorable. So it wasn't expect expensive back then. But uh, anyway, it's the, exactly the same design of the strap that comes with this watch. Uh, the bezel action is good, a little bit noisy. As you can see, it's uh, 120 clicks. The it's a little bit stiff to to turn, but in compensation, the um, the edges of the bezel are pretty. They offer a pretty good grip. They actually is quite uh, quite sharp, not to the point to be uh, uncomfortable. Any, in any way but it's a it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit rough the crown is the operation is pretty good again one of the things that I, I mentioned on other videos is that uh, the quality of this kind of parts uh, improved a lot over the years um, on older uh, Chinese watches this was something that used to give up in a kind of short period of time because the tube and the crown threads weren't made uh, with enough um, enough precision or enough tolerances so they get stripped um, in, in not much time of use and also the material probably wasn't good but today they are able to make these um, these crowns pretty well uh, you can feel when you are screwing it up that it's not scratchy. You don't have that that feeling like there is sand on the threads, uh, which is an, in, an indicative of a thread that is not very well made. Um, what more can I say? Well, let's test the loom to see how it looks. And here you can see the, the loom on the bezel. The loom on the bezel is more like a BGW9, a blue BGW9, while the hands and dial is the green C3. It's pretty bright. There is a, a lot of of material applied. Uh, that's why it's capable of of being uh, quite brilliant and also last um, uh, quite a long time. The design of the dial and the hands is is pretty much like the like the blend pen, and of course, needless to say that uh, a vintage blend pen fifty phaetons it's expensive as hell, so it's completely out of reach, which is funny because originally they weren't uh, they weren't great watches, they were just two watches, diving, professional diving watches, designed to be like a two and the, you know, the shape of, of these watches uh, reveals how much, how toolish it, it is. But over the years, they become uh, um, a collector's piece, not only because Blancpain uh, reinvented itself uh, during the 80s and the 90s as a Haute Horlogerie brand, uh, thanks to Mr. Jean Claude Bivet, which is a you know it's a it's a marketing genius. He transformed the Blancpain on which it is, in what it is today, 
and of course that the older models even though they weren't uh, not even close to be haute or lingerie uh, but you know they become classics and and pretty expensive so basically that's it i think if you like the if you if you are keen to this kind of vintage diving watches i think that this one is a is a very good option it's also a very good option for everyday use because it's it's very robust con construction it's not a big watch it have 41 millimeters in diameter it, it actually doesn't look like 41 it looks uh, a little bit smaller than that on the wrist uh, but it's pretty robust pretty discreet and and also resistant enough to to everyday use so i think it's a pretty good option and of course if you like the the blanc pans um, this is this is one of the options there are other options out there um, that resembles more the more modern uh, uh, 50 fathoms um, i think this one is have a more vintage look but anyway uh, it's up to you this is one of the choices and i think it's a pretty pretty good watch for 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 what it costs it offers um, it offers a, a very good deal if i'm not mistaken now they are offering this watch with a steel bracelet uh, which i don't think it looks very good i think the um, this is one of the cases in which um, uh, if you if you put a, a steel bracelet it kind of it kind of shades the shape of the case a little bit so uh, the case doesn't look as beautiful uh, with a with a metal bracelet as it looks with a, with a rubber um, I think the, the the rubber or even a, a leather strap gives more it, it brings more attention to the shape of, of the case uh, but it's it's up to you back when I purchased this uh, they didn't have uh, steel bracelets available but it's uh, it's an option now probably the customers were asking for it and that's why they decided to 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 offer uh, this option uh, but that's it I hope you like it in case you did just click on the on the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel in case you are not subscribed yet and keep following.